Hello, welcome to EPG Parshara Spanish. My name is Nabil Ansari and I teach Spanish in the center of Spanish, Portuguese, Italian and Latin American studies in Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. We are in the paper entitled Spanish Language 1, Intermediate. In this module entitled Social Networking, you are going to learn to get to know how to use social media in Spanish you're also going to be able to communicate actions or events that are currently happening. And you will also be acquiring vocabulary to express your feelings. Rumana meets many new people during the first few days of her stay in Mexico. In the university, she made many friends with whom she hangs out for lunch and coffee during recess and breaks. On one such occasion, the talk turned to the use of social networking sites, which in Spanish is Las Redes Sociales. Some of the key verbs related to social networking sites are, so we are going to see some of the verbs related to social networking sites in Spanish are Chatear, enviar, agregar, subir, crear, compartir, seguir, conectarse, comentar, etiquetar, chequear, actualizar, editar. Y publicar. Oye, Sara, ¿qué estás haciendo? Nada, estoy mirando Facebook. ¿Tú estás en Facebook? Sí, claro que estoy. Pero no te encuentro. Te estoy buscando, pero tu nombre no sale. Ah, lo que pasa es que tengo un nombre de perfil diferente. Ahora me conecto y te envío una solicitud de amistad. Hace nada que cree mi cuenta en Facebook. Alá, ¿ya somos amigas? Bueno, qué foto de perfil tan linda. Estás guapísima. Gracias. La subí justo después de llegar a México. A ver, ya tengo una notificación. ¡Es tuya! No has tra tar tardado nada en comentar. Eh, ¿y qué escribes? Bueno, ¿la princesa india en México? ¡Ay, qué lindo! Le voy a dar un me, me gusto. Mira, te agrego a nuestro grupo de la clase, así te mantienes actualizada con todo lo que pasa en la facultad. Y además te voy a etiquetar en una de las fotos que tomamos el primer día de la clase. Salen todos y se ven muy contentos. Sí, ya la veo en mi muro. Todos se ve, están riendo, salvo yo. Qué seria estoy. Ja, ja, ja. Parece que mi país no te está gustando, ¿ok? In the dialogue, you might have noticed the following forms of the present continuous uh, form of the verbs. For example, Oye, Sara, ¿qué estás haciendo? So, in this sentence, the present continuous form of the verb used is Estás haciendo. Nada. Estoy mirando Facebook. So in this sentence, the present continuous used is Estoy mirando. Te estoy, te estoy buscando, pero tu nombre no sale. Entonces, in this um, sentence, the present continuous used is Te estoy buscando. Another sentence es, parece que mi país no te está gustando. Ok. Entonces, in this um, sentence, the present continuous used is, te está gustando. Now, the present continuous or the gerund form or the el, uh, or in Spanish, which we say el jurin, uh, gerundio, is used when talking about an action that is simultaneously happening in the present. It is formed by adding the gerund form of the verbs to the verb estar. 
for example, a star plus gerundio. So the gerund form is made by adding ando or yendo to the stem of the verb. So, so the examples that we have seen just now, in these examples, as we mentioned, for example, estas haciendo, if you pay attention with the verb estar, the second verb is in ending in yendo, that is the verb hacer is ending with yendo, that is haciendo. So in order to make the gerund form or in order to use the gerund form, we take the verb estar and we have to conjugate the verb estar depending on the subject and if the second verb ends in ar then we add we take out the stem of the verb and we add ando for example nada estoy mirando facebook so mirando we is the comes from the verb ar mirar so we remove the ar the ending of the verb mirar and add ando becomes mirando same way te estoy buscando so buscando comes from the verb buscar so we remove the ar and added ando which um, becomes buscando same way parece que mi país no te está gustando so gustando comes from the verb gustar which means uh, like so in for um, making it in present continuous we remove the ar from the verb gustar and we added ando so it becomes gustando so like this for example if the verb is uh, let's say hablar and if the example is estoy hablando which means i'm speaking for example i'm speaking on phone estoy hablando por teléfono so hablar we remove the ar from the verb hablar and added ando it became hablando comer which uh, ends in er so for this we have to add yendo so it will become comiendo so if i say estoy comiendo ahora it means that i am eating now same way the verb which ends in ir for um, those verbs we also add yendo for example viviendo estoy viviendo aquí i'm living here so if the verb is er we add ando so hablar becomes hablando if the verb is er we add yendo so comer o hacer becomes uh, comiendo y haciendo and if the verb is ir we again add yendo for example we be be viendo now for more uh, to learn more about the usage of the present continuous form see the grammar section as you know social networking sites are mostly used to communicate with others through messages that tell them your state of mind at a particular moment in spanish the present state of mind is mostly expressed by using the verb estar with adjectives let's see some examples oye que te pasa no he estudiado para el examen y estoy nerviosa so the question is hey what happened to you and the person replies that i haven't studied for the exam because and i am nervous so the verb estar is used here for expressing the state of mind so when it says when the person says estoy nerviosa it means that he is here stating that he um, um sorry she is here stating that she is nervous as the adjective is nerviosa so we know okay that, that the person here is 
feminine. An example, ¿por qué lloras? No, no encuentro mi perro y estoy triste. So, the question is, why are you crying? The person says, I am not finding my dog and I am sad. So, here with the verb estar, the adjective triste, which means sad, is used. So, estoy triste means, here I am, I am sad. ¿Estás cansada? Sí, he tenido que trabajar mucho hoy. So, in this example, the state of mind is already asked in the question itself with the verb estar, which says, ¿Estás cansada? Are you tired? And the reply was, yes, I have had to work a lot today. Again, the adjective here is cansada and not cansado. So, we know that the person uh, to whom this question was asked is feminine. So, I repeat, remember that the adjectives ending in O change depending on the number and gender of the subject. The same way, the um, sentences uh, that we have seen here with estar, for example, estoy nerviosa, estoy triste, estás cansada. If it's a male, it will become, estoy nerviosa will become, estoy nervioso. Estoy cansada will become, estoy cansado. And estoy triste as the adjective here ends in E. So it remains same for both masculine as well as feminine gender. There are other ways of expressing the state of mind by combining the adjectives with verbs like sentirse or ponerse which mean to feel or to become respectively while estar means to be. So we are going to see some more examples with the verb sentirse and ponerse. So the first example with the verb estar is Estoy nerviosa porque tengo una entrevista hoy. So it state the current state of the person. So it states the current state of the person mean that okay, the person saying estoy nerviosa porque tengo una entrevista hoy, which means I'm nervous because I have an interview today. Entonces esto habla del estado actual. The second example is with the verb sentirse. For example, me siento nerviosa porque voy al extranjero sola. 20. ¿Qué es 20? Es una red social española dirigida desde su origen a los jóvenes universitarios para que comparten fotos, enlaces o vídeos. Comenten en los perfiles de sus amigos y estén conectados virtualmente. Solo se puede registrarse mediante una invitación, así que es bastante exclusiva. So the social networking site 20 is uh, quite famous in Spain. LinkedIn. ¿Qué es LinkedIn? Es un sitio web de interacción profesional que funciona como carta de presentación virtual. El perfil del usuario es el resumen de su experiencia profesional y académica. Es una plataforma pensada para hacer negocios y alianzas estratégicas. Now the social networking sites are all about instant messaging, posting short messages or comments. When we post something, people connected to us respond through their comments, appreciations or opinions. On one such occasion, Rumana and Sara discuss different comments made by Rumana's friends on her status update. Let's listen to their conversation. LinkedIn. 
es un sitio web de interacción profesional que funciona como carta de presentación virtual. El perfil del usuario es el resumen de su experiencia profesional y académica. Es una plataforma pensada para hacer negocios y alianzas estratégicas. After having talked about what are the social networking sites and also having seen in detail what the some of the social networking sites are, for example, 20, LinkedIn, uh, mm -hmm. Facebook, Twitter. Now below you can see the status update tab of a social networking site where it is asking people to update what they are thinking or doing at the present moment. Now please notice the use of the Jerun form in these uh, updates. It starts from actualizar estado, which means to update. And on the beside that, we have agregar fotos o video, which means to add photos or videos or to upload photos or videos and the question that it asks is ¿Qué estás pensando? What are you thinking? So, oh, be, uh, below that question it says ¿Qué estás haciendo? It means what are you doing? So, estás haciendo, remember this is the present continuous esta plus Jerun form. Now, it gives you option of stating what are you doing. So, the options given over there are me siento, which means I'm feeling, and then you click on that part, then it will give you more option about what are you feeling. Some of the options that we have already seen before. Or you, if you click to the below that, Below me siento, it says, estoy viendo, which means I am watching. So if you click here, it will give you more option about what you are watching. Then below estoy uh, viendo, there is option called estoy leyendo, which means I am reading. So if you click here, it gives you option of what actually you are reading. So you can choose one of the options given over there. Then also it says estoy escuchando a which means I'm listening to. So same way click here and then it will give you more options about what are you listening to. Then it says estoy bebiendo which means I'm drinking. So it might give you options like agua which is water, cerveza which is beer, vino which is wine etc same way below that there is estoy comiendo which means i am eating so again if you click over there it will give you some options where which you can choose the last one which is given over there is estoy viajando a which means i am traveling Two. If you click here, it will give you some options where you are traveling to. Now, after having seen a normal status update of a social networking site, you please pay attention to the use of a Jerun form. Starting from, ¿Qué estás pensando? ¿Estás pensando? ¿O qué estás haciendo? After that, it gives you more options whereby the Jerun form is used starting from estoy viendo, estoy leyendo, estoy escuchando a, estoy bebiendo, estoy comiendo y estoy viajando a. Now, the social networking sites are all about instant messaging, posting short messages or comments. When we post something, people connected to us respond through their comments, appreciations or opinions. On, bus, on one such occasion, Rumana and Zara discuss different comments made by Rumana's friends.
friends on her status update. Let's listen to the conversation between Rumana and Zara regarding their status updates. Oye, ¿por qué estás sonriendo tú sola? ¿Qué pasa? Nada en particular. Es que ayer puse un comentario sobre lo bien que me lo estoy pasando en México y me hacen gracia algunos de los comentarios que han hecho mis amigos en respuesta. Léelos y tú también los disfrutarás. A ver, Ramit dice, que rollo romana y nosotros aquí echándote de menos. ¿Para qué? Jaja, ja, parece que está enfadado contigo. No, solo me toma el pelo. Es mi mejor amigo. Lee lo que dice Archana. Es también de mi facultad. Qué envidia. ¿Por qué no me llevaste contigo? Me aburro como una ostra aquí. Y el de Germán también me gusta. Qué lástima que no estoy ahí. Lo pasaríamos de maravilla en las playas de Cancún uno de estos días. Ah, cómo les echo de menos a todos. Y ellos a ti, ¿no? Here are some expressions that can be used while reacting to any news or comments that you have heard in the audio. For example, ¿Qué rollo? ¿Qué lío? ¿Qué lástima? ¿Qué horror? ¿Qué gracioso? ¿Qué chulo? ¿Qué maravilla? ¿Qué rabia? ¿Qué risa? ¿Qué casualidad? ¿Qué asco? ¿Qué envidia? ¿Qué suerte? ¿Qué pena? Enhorabuena. Now, let's see the meaning of these expressions. For example, que rollo means what a nuisance or what a pain. Que lío means what a mess. Que lástima means what a shame. Que horror means how awful or terrible. Que gracioso means how funny. Que chulo means how cute. Que maravilla means how wonderful. Que rabia means how annoying or infuriating. Que risa means how funny. Que casualidad means what a coincidence. Que asco means how disgusting. Que envidia means I'm so jealous. Que suerte means how lucky. Que pena means what a pity. And enhorabuena means congratulations. Apart from these, there are some more. For example, guau means wow. No me digas means don't tell me. De verdad means really. So these are some expressions which uh, can be used for reacting before any news item or before any comments made by someone. So in these, if you have, uh, if you pay attention, after K, this in these exclamative uh, expressions, we have used we have used words like rollo or the words like rollo, lío, lastima, horror, gracioso, chulo, maravilla, rabia, risa, etc. are used. Some of them are um, noun like la casualidad, la rabia, la risa and some of them are adjective like um, gracioso. So, you can use nouns or adjectives with the K for expressing your feeling. Now, let's uh, learn more about the social networking sites. In general, what are they and uh, what, do, what do they mean? We are going to listen to a text which is talking about the social networking sites in general. Las redes sociales son una herramienta útil para interactuar con amigos y hacer nuevos amigos. En una encuesta 
se revela que casi todos los jóvenes mexicanos, casi un 70%, disponen de al menos una cuenta de una red social. Ellos comparten su vida mediante estos sitios sociales en los que ponen cómo se sienten, muestran sus fotos o vídeos y reciben una respuesta de sus amigos casi de inmediato. En un sondeo realizado en las escuelas mexicanas, los adolescentes declararon que su vida dependía mucho de todos los sitios sociales y que eran su salvación en muchas situaciones incómodas. Por el otro lado, Enrique Echeburúa, profesor de psicología clínica de la Universidad del País Vasco, dice que el cambio de la vida social por la virtual a través de redes sociales es uno de los mayores peligros por el uso abusivo de las nuevas tecnologías por parte de los jóvenes. Entre los síntomas que indican una ciberadicción a las redes, destaca la creación de una identidad ficticia, el aislamiento social, recurrir a las redes para superar cualquier malestar ante la sociedad. La llave es saber equilibrar la vida social y la vida virtual y hacer un uso responsable y adecuado de estas herramientas sociales. Thus, in this module, you have learned los verbos comunes que se emplean en las redes sociales, el uso de presente continuo en español, los adjetivos para expresar el estado de ánimo con los verbos como estar y sentirse, las expresiones para expresar nuestros sentimientos ante algo, la descripción de los distintos tipos de las redes sociales. If you want to know more about any of these uh, topics, or if you want to do more exercises or practices, you can refer to the e-text. Thank you.